Hello everybody, it's Tragic, probably better known as the guy who overpaid for this lot, I think. Well, here we are again, another lot of Magic the Gathering cards, and this one went pretty high. Um, looked super promising, and the bidders were out in force. Um, so let's see what we got here for 3316. The guy ended up waiving the shipping. And the reason why is when I was contacting him, he was very surprised that these cards went this high. Um, because he was an honest to God, actual storage unit picker guy, and he mainly deals in computer parts. So when he said here in this, the description that he doesn't know anything about this card game, I actually do believe him. You look at all of his history, and he hasn't sold a single card in his whole history. Um, the pictures here show the wall of a storage unit hallway with some gross old carpet that is exactly what those places look like here's some tubs there was probably like a bay door right here um, there was a, some other stuff that probably would have come with this storage unit that kind of was similar to you know what a guy that was into magic would be into so um, felt confident that this was legitimate um, and then when you start looking into the pictures, it gets real exciting. Uh, on the top of these are written some cool dungeon crawl stuff. Um, and then more importantly, some old logos that you might recognize. And even down here um, written out are some pretty exciting words. Uh, not least of which is this one right here that just says summer. Oh boy, I sure hope so. So uh, we're going to get into this and, and see really what we got here. Um, labeled um, segmented um, block listings are kind of cool. Uh, there are a few cards in plastic um, cases, although I would really like to see more of those on a super high-end collection. Um, rows and rows of unprotected cards usually means commons. And so that's why, as always, this is a super big gamble. This is not an investment. Um, this could, in fact, go south. Who knows? That's just what I do. Um, in, hopefully, the box here that maybe was labeled summer, that one of these white bordered clusters right here is actually some summer magic. We'll get in and find out. Um, shown in the listing um, was not much in these boxes that you could really see if there was anything good. So that's a big part of the gamble. Moving on, you got some old fat pack boxes, an old uh, like Fallen Empires and a Chronicles box. So that's who, who knows. This binder here actually says trade bait, and uh, sure enough, it actually is. When you get to that picture, um, you got one picture here that shows some trade bait, some cards that uh, you know you probably wouldn't you know have stuffed into decks. And that's another thing. There's not decks with this. Um, there were additional pictures with this. Um, listing down in the description and he actually laid out every single page of this binder um, some good stuff not overwhelmingly great not worth what I paid for this um, there was a place at a damnations and that, um, some other good stuff that hopefully we'll get to add up a bit but really the get the big gamble is what is all through the rest of this stuff um, so anyway that's what we got going on today let's get in and open the box well, here's this box. It weighs 90 pounds. It is way too big to get onto my other camera, so I'm just gonna do this the old fashioned way with my phone and open it up and see if we can take a little sneak peek. Okay, <laughs> quite a chore. Now, in the listing on the extra pictures, they showed us pretty much everything that was in this red and white binder. So I'm super curious in what's in this black binder. Is it empty? I sure hope not. I hope it's got something decent in it. Oh, it's not empty. That's got some promising looking stuff in it. Cars from the dark, antiquities. Alliances, nothing really stands out as amazing right this second, but hopefully we'll add up. Okay, so some newer stuff, Pithing Needle, 
mana battery from Legends, so, and the thing is falling apart. Anything super amazing? Doesn't really look like it. So that's what was in this black binder. Sheltered Valley, Heart of Yavamaya. Hornet covering. Okay, so some Legends in the dark. Uncommons and stuff. Um, I got my work cut out for me. I'm probably just going to have to do a quick sneak. The one box that said summer on it, among other things. Of course, what I'm really interested in. Oh, there's cards in this. That's full. That's a full bundle right there or something. Um, it's been taking quite some time to really get into this. I just want to take a peek. Is this just commons? Like I kind of assumed it would be. Anything better in these rows here? Okay, so this has got Chattamore, Betrayers, Urzas. Just gonna take a little sample here and see. All right, so Champions of Kamigawa, Uncommons, and Commons. Yeah, that's about what I kind of figured it was. So we're very, very hopeful it's somewhere in here are more than just commons and uncommons. Um, we're gonna dig, dig, dig for the good. So I will be back later. So I didn't catch this on camera a second ago when I pulled this out of the box. When I went to go put this binder back in the box for later, I noticed there's a big lump in this pocket. I reach in the pocket and pull out and are you freaking kidding me? An unlimited mock sapphire is in this binder. I'm astonished. Uh, I have never found a piece of power before. I haven't even opened this up to make sure that it's real. But it looks real enough to me through this giant case. Uh, definitely played. This is freaking fantastic I don't even know what to say um, honestly this binder looked pretty over underwhelming uh, if you're telling me the original owner of this forgot a mock sapphire in here and you don't believe this I totally get it because I don't either but here it is I'm astonished well I'm gonna have to do my tests on it but with having some edge wear on there I can't imagine it's just a fake. There's a scratch on the, it's all on the out side of it. So I don't know. The edges look a little punchy, I got to say. So I'm going to put this through its paces and, uh, and I'll report back later. But there it is. I think I found my first piece of power. Yes. Okay. Be back with more. Okay. It's time to get into this thing and put it through... The paces, I gotta tell you, uh, looking closely through the the case, I'm starting to see um, some stuff that's making me a little suspicious. So um, I'm gonna check and see if this is real or not. I'm gonna unscrew this case and see what I've really got on my hands here. Um, I wouldn't put it past some player to have a fake card to just show off. Um, <clears throat> some of the things looking through just the case, I can't, um, see closely enough the rosettes, but the edges look, um, like they're not factory real to me. Um, the way they sort of curl up a little bit on the edging that they have on the back. Um, just to the naked eye, the... The resolution on the front doesn't look perfect to me, so I'm going to take it out and, and really, really look at it. I'm going to do the light test, and we will see what do I actually have. I think I actually noticed. I don't know if you can see it here. I think there's a beard hair in there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is a thing. All right, so get this case open here. It's like stuck to the inside. Uh, yeah, it's like kind of wavy and got a little kind of uh, crease there. Let's just see. Let me get this to fall off here. Without... If it is real, I definitely do not want to mess with it. Yeah. Feels 
Suspicious. All right, let's uh, let's do let's do the light test first. So this should come through nice and bright, and it does not. Yeah, you should be able to see that there are. Yeah, you should be able to see the light like shine through here. I'll just grab like any other card. Yeah, you can see how on this apocalypse card you've got white through. You can see like little artifacts. So this unfortunately is not a real mock sapphire. It's pretty clear. Yeah, you can see like to, to me just here in person the resolution of the sapphire itself just seems off. So I'm gonna put it in the loop just kind of see if we can show that off. Super bummer. I was excited there for a minute. Let's see if you can turn this thing on. Yeah, okay, the light's on. Um, let's see, I'll hold it up and see if you can see. It's hard to tell on camera, I'm sure, but yeah, those rosettes don't really look like rosettes, do they? Yeah, let me let me look with my eye here and see. Oh well, now they look <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. The rosettes like they they bleed through the letters. That's not how you want it. Like the letters, the the black lettering should be sharp. It's I know it's probably hard to see on camera um, through this magnifier, but yeah, like the the rosettes on this are just like part of the black, and it really shouldn't be like that. So, and then of course the last test, it's it's like it's curling in my hand as it sits here now that it's out of this flat case. Let's see if we can get. Oh yeah, that green dot, like all, everything's got red dots all through it, not not the appropriate shape that we're looking for and i know it's really hard to see but i can tell you unfortunately for me this is not the real deal oh well that's how it goes so now i've got a real uphill battle for my collection here um so <laughs> might be one of those times where i crash and burn but i'm gonna see it through to the end and and showed up yeah like looking up close at the back here i can see little pixelated uh, not re proper rosettes and so I think to, like through the case like to me this edge looked like it had almost been punched out I don't know if they tried to like glue together two cards or something like that kind of seems like it but even the even the back doesn't really look real so it's definitely just a fake through and through it bends wrong it just doesn't feel right so not a real mock sapphire. I will not try to sell this on eBay to any of you unless you really want it. But that's how it goes. The the funny thing about it was it wasn't shown in the listing. The the person who found this in the in the uh, storage unit didn't ever find it. I barely found it because I went through that binder first and then after the fact found it in the pocket. I kind of wish I got myself on camera like hopping around saying holy crap when I did find it and thought it was real but in the end I just had to record uh, my secondary um, <clears throat> find of it right oh gosh here's that it's, it's like a beard hair oh my god anyway well I will continue going through the rest of this see if I can even come close to breaking even it kind of looks like I'm gonna take a bath on this one but We'll see what's in there. Maybe there's some surprises. Um, this would have been amazing, but it's not. So there you go. Anyway, I'll be back to sort out this madness. Hey everyone, it's been a while, but it is time to finally continue going through this lot and seeing if I can break even on this 3317 that I paid for it with the uh, unfortunate discovery that the mock sapphire that I didn't even know was in there in the first place, ended up being fake. Uh, I still have quite a uphill battle to get to this number. And I'll be honest, poking through some of these boxes, it's not looking so promising. So we're gonna start off with a couple of these binders. This was the binder where the, the Sapphire was in. And if you can tell, there's still, it's, it's empty now, but there is 
like the bulge mark from it where it was in there for quite some time just as some players show off piece probably and try to psych out his friends who knows so I'm gonna go through this and uh, see if I can pull a little bit of value out of these dark cards here we go astronaut Silex um, I went through this before uh, didn't look super amazingly promising but uh, maybe it'll add up so as usual anything over 90 cents counts so this Ashnod Silex is my first pull. Let's go. There we go, five bucks for Exorcist from the dark. Target black creature is destroyed, so there's a little hit. Well, that was it for the vintage stuff. There is next a binder that is labeled Trade Bait. And this one actually had some kind of decent stuff in it. And uh, let's even kind of show it off here. This, this actually was shown in the listing. Um, it seems to be exactly what it says is Trade Bait. Uh, I don't think there's going to be enough in here to get my money back, but I'll at least get to take a look. Damnation from Planar Chaos. We got four of them. They're like... Light to medium play, looks like. But at 35, let's see what the other version is. Yep, 34 bucks each. One, two, three, four of them. Those are a couple of good ones. All right, still quite a ways to go. <laughs> Couple of No Mercy from Urza's Legacy. Very nice. 2103. Two No Mercies. Two Idyllic Tutors from Morning Tide, which got reprinted but they're still okay silence wow more than I thought 532 for four of them There we go. A couple of $5 crackdowns. And a replenish from Urza's Destiny, which, uh, not in great shape, but there it is. $44.97 for a near mint, which that's not quite, unfortunately. But. Ghost Way. Oh wow, I wasn't aware that this card was 11 bucks. One, two, three, four of those. Put them here.
So the fourth edition Armageddon's are 337. Okay. Now, what do you suppose an unlimited Armageddon is? And this one's in, yeah, it's played for sure. It's actually not so bad. There we go. Well, a unlimited Armageddon would be 75.99 in good condition. This one is not. It's not the worst. What do you say? Probably heavy play. But uh, I'm gonna call that a a good one. In fact, guess what? Here's a Wrath of God to go with it. So let's look at that one. Yep, unlimited Wrath of God. 69. And same kind of treatment, yeah, definitely saw a lot of play back in the day. Couple of goblin wizards from the dark. 2107 a piece played, but they're okay. Summoners packed. Woo, big difference. Fifteen ninety nine for three summoners packs. But asceticism, I think, is a good card. Yeah, ten bucks for two asceticisms. So Miri's Guile is a great card. It's uh pretty broken honestly and this particular one has seen some heavy play 23 bucks is what it kind of would be if it was in good shape Vincer 890 for Vincer, got three of those. Equilibrium. There we go. A couple of Exodus Equilibriums are seven bucks. Seventh edition Equilibrium. Eight bucks. Goes there. Glimpse the unthinkable. Wow. Nine bucks for four of those. I don't know where any of my piles are anymore. And a Loom Duel's Vault from Alliances. Played. All this stuff has definitely seen some play. Eula Dammer's Call. A couple of those. Cloud Key. Woo. And we got two of these. $20.91 for a couple of Cloud Keys in light to medium play. So those are good. Uh, we got a Foil Lotus Bloom. It's in the okay shape. Foil version is 14 bucks. Got suspend, and we got three regular ones. One, two, three. Here we go. Legacy weapon with uh, very cool art by Therese Nielsen. 
Got Urza's head there. Awesome stuff. And two gauntlet of power. One of them is in kind of okay shape, and one of them is in kind of not okay shape. But they are 20 bucks. Quantum Mythos. Two and three of those. The last page in this binder has got four actually in really good shape petrified fields, which a lot of the stuff in here has been kind of beat up. These are actually in pretty decent shape. And they're six bucks each. One, two, three, four of those. The binder brings us to 1330, minus a lot for condition. Um, still got quite a climb to get up to even close to what I paid for all of this, but I still have, I don't know, 15,000 cars to go through, so bound to be something good in there. So here we go. Six and a half hours later. Wow. $19.50 for a foil muddle the mixture. Ooh, Arashars. There we go. 12 bucks for a foil flamekin harbinger usually does okay wow 972 for noxious revival hey wow very nice goblin bombardment 672 the biggest card that we found in quite some time wow really 991 for the dragon okay everyone here we are at the end uh, and as you can see uh, on a gamble of 3317 I got 649 cards that were over 90 cents for a total of 2302, a loss of about $1,000. Insert meme here. Uh, definitely a, a case of getting scammed here a bit. Um, it was misrepresented for sure. I think I'm under the assumption now at this point that the writing on the top of the box was added well after the fact of this being sorted by someone. So kudos to you, sir, for pulling one over it was uh, it ticked off all the right boxes um, for me to jump in on this one with both feet so um, that's how it goes in this biz that's why I call it a gamble because you can get burned like this so one thing I, I that really confirms my suspicion um, is going back to this guy's uh, listings um, when I purchased this there was no history of Magic the Gathering sales in any way shape or form now it's actually been two months have passed in that time he has taken the opportunity to scam a ton of people and essentially burn this account to the ground this CCI 100% has now changed his uh, avatar to the he-man meme so this is definitely the memes edition he's laughing at all of us uh, he actually put up a lot of uh, Ikoria stuff and never delivered We've got a lot of unhappy buyers. So I was not the only one here that did this. Now, um, in my particular case, it may be too late. I don't know if I have a case to bring this to eBay. Um, what do you guys think? Should I give it a try? I'm on the fence about it. So that's what it is at this point. A um, couple of few pages of scammers here. Uh, guys getting scammed. So... There's uh, unfortunately people out here that will do that kind of stuff. Um, this account seemed like a perfectly legitimate account. It was seller of like um, radio ham radio stuff and just decided to burn it to the ground for a few bucks. Eh, more than a few bucks, I suppose. But uh, in the end, um, you can only do that so many times before um, you can't do it again. So the diminishing returns effect will catch up with this individual. Um, anyway, that's what it is. Uh, did end up with a few notables. Um, it was not a complete down to zero kind of loss for me. Um, I'll be able to pull some value. It's not going to hit that level, but uh, it's one of those things where I will be more vigilant in the future and be more suspicious. 
and take my time and be patient, which is what I would advise anyone trying to do this. And let's not forget, I got this floppy taco out of the deal, so. The hell. Not even blue. All right, that's that. People, thanks for watching. Tragic MTG, see you later.